March deliberation, I've decided to remove without cause Crystal Critter and corporate counsel. And I have no problem with people disagreeing with me, but to the same token, we've got to do what's best for the city. I am here today to announce. Uh, that was Detroit Mayor Dave Bing announcing the demotion of the city staff attorney, Crystal Crittenden. She fought hard against the consent agreement between Detroit and the state. She lost that battle and her job, but now she's in the fight to become the next mayor. Welcome back to Letter Rip. With us right now is a graduate of Cass Tech, Wayne State, and the Detroit College of Law. Her friends call her a woman of integrity and courage. Her critics say she's a rogue attorney who stands in the way of progress. Crystal Critton is with us tonight. And of course, you've already met political insider Steve Hood, but what you did know was that Steve and Crystal were in the same class at Cass Tech High School a few short years ago. No, they did not date. And as always, Attorney Charlie Langton. Thank you for being here. She, have, she had too much class to come on the second floor and hang out with the spirit. Yeah. All right. A good decision there. Yes. The big question, though, Crystal, you could make a good living in private practice, public attorney, why would you want to take this job right now when the city is mired in so many problems? You know, if everyone who thinks that he or she could make a difference would cut and leave, we'd be in worse shape than we are now. Someone's got to stay and fight. I've worked for the city of Detroit for 18 years, not because I had to, but because I wanted to. I still want to work for the city of Detroit. We need strong leadership, and I think I can be that leader. Some of your critics say that this is a race uh, in some ways inspired by spite. Uh, Dave Bing, your former boss, or your boss, demoted you. Uh, you started a fight against the state to, to challenge the consent agreement. You lost that battle. And now, as the critics say, well, you're just running to make a point. You're trying to get back at Dave Bing by taking his job. How would you answer that? You know, I didn't lose anything. It wasn't my lawsuit. It was a lawsuit that I filed on behalf of the city of, the, of Detroit as the city's attorney. You know, for anyone who would think that I would put myself or my family through this out of spite, it's probably nothing I can say that's going to convince you differently. People who know me, people who are supporting me, and people who are urging me to do this know that that's not why I'm running. Bottom line. Uh, Steve, when you look at the political landscape, uh, what do you see as the future for Crystal Britton? Um, I see an interesting future. The big question is, is whether if she becomes mayor, if she can make it through the primary and somehow make it through the general, she becomes mayor, can she work? with a governor that's going to be there all right he's got what two more uh, year or two more years left on his two term years, and if the democratic party does not get rid of mark brewer and bring in lon johnson governor schneider's going to be there for another four years so whoever's going to be mayor has to be able to work with that governor so-called as my friend ernest johnson would say kick in the green door be able to bring that cash be able to work with that governor at, over that time but she has a hard road to hoe in the primary because even though she has the name recognition from this whole consent agreement and all these suits, she, her history with the electorate is, is not there yet. So she has a lot of work to do. And if you look at Mike Duggan, he's hitting every place around town. You've got Benny, he's out there. Or he's having some organizational problems. You got Lisa Howe, she's got a darn Super Bowl commercial. She's got to go, but it should be interesting to note. I saw one interview with her that got more hits than Lisa Howes' Super Bowl commercial. Well, what you did see, though, in her announcement was enthusiasm. Oh, yeah. No did question you see about the that. Motown room packed? That was huge. And generally, the general rule in politics is you get a room smaller than you need. The Motown room at Burt's is a large room, and she packed it on her first time out. That's a message sent. What Detroiters tell me all the time, though, is that crime, public safety, those issues are number one. How are you going to improve the quality of life in a city that's running out of money? Yeah, you know, the city of Detroit doesn't have to be running out of money. There's a lot of money that's due and owing to the city of Detroit. Unfortunately, the Corporation Council can't sue for that money unless the mayor authorizes the lawsuit. One day, the first thing we would do is make sure that we go after the money that's due and owing to us. If we were to collect half the money that was due and owing to us, we wouldn't have a conversation about emergency management. Are you saying that the mayor is not going after money? Well, let's just say this. I was corporation counsel for four years, and I needed his authorization to sue, and I didn't sue. But you sued on the consent agreement, and he said no to that. No, that was an enforcement of the charter issue. The charter allows the corporation counsel to enforce the charter without permission of the mayor or but city not council. To money? But not Where's to collect the, money? That makes no sense at all on the well, charter. That's what the charter says. Yeah. Yeah. Lie. Well, the mayor's theme Wednesday night in his State of the City address was that it's starting, time to start talking about the positive things going on in the city of Detroit. Here's some of what he said.
It's time to transform the image of Detroit, and we must do it by working together. Beginning tonight, it's time to change the conversation about Detroit. Now, the mayor did announce some new initiatives in fighting crime. He did announce a new public-private partnership to fight blight. In your estimation, is he doing something right? You know, I would like to say that the people of the city of Detroit live in the city that was described in the State of the City Address. People I've spoken to, this is the first that they've heard of a lot of those initiatives. It does not reflect the everyday quality of life issues that affect most of the people of the city of Detroit. And if you are elected, you would be the first woman in Detroit history to assume the job of mayor. Uh, there's some people who say that the voters in Detroit are more conservative than they like to admit. That's one reason they've never elected a woman. Right, you know, no woman has ever been elected first until she's elected the first time, so we'll Bottom see. Line. How about fundraising? How about it? What do you bring to this office, would you bring to this office that no one else does? You know, I've been with the city of Detroit for 18 years, and as a lawyer for the city of Detroit, I've had to work with every city department. I know what works, what doesn't work. You know, from financing to, to land deals, you can't give legal opinions and legal advice unless you fully understand all of the issues that are attendant to the question that's being asked. And do you still want to run knowing that an emergency manager might be in place within days or weeks? You know, we could. I, although my name is Crystal, I don't have a crystal ball, so I don't know if we're going to have an emergency manager. But even if we do, we're going to need strong leadership to make sure that we emerge from under emergency management. All right, Crystal Whitman, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. We hope the first of many such appearances Thanks. as this race continues. All right, still to come, raising the minimum wage. Not everyone believes it's a good idea. What about you? We'll find out when Charlie takes the show on the road.